<clears throat> Hi. Hello everyone and welcome to the rewrite. In this video I will be talking about how to start working on your second draft of your feature length and or short film script. It's always best to have a second draft of your work or maybe even third, fourth or fifth draft um, because well, there's a saying in Hollywood that your first draft is usually known as your vomit draft or garbage draft. J uh, hold on, let me let me explain. Because when you start off with your story and you're explaining like all of your ideas and your story structure, sometimes the script can be a little bit all over the place and especially the dialogue can not be the best. So that's why it's best to always have someone critique your work if you have you know family parents that can read your stuff and tell you what you know they like or what they don't like that's fine but it's usually best to have someone who's in like film who's like pursuing a career in film film professors film students other people who are really passionate about the art of filmmaking you know they may be better people to look at your draft and tell them what they like about it what they don't like about it that way you can have more of a better understanding of what you need to change into it so let's talk about how to start writing your second draft uh similar to a video i made a couple weeks ago called the idea which you if you have not seen i will leave a link up here somewhere i will also leave a link in the description Basically in that video, I was talking about ideas on how to come up with a short film, but those ideas can also be presented in a way to talk about how to come up with new scenes or new plot lines. There's some ideas in there that I've used personally uh, when I was writing my second draft, but I'll also give some new ideas right now on how to start working on ideas for your second draft. The first one being um, is to rewatch films or short films that are inspiration for the film that you're currently writing about. Watch them not just uh, with entertainment purposes. You can watch them with the purpose of watching it with a filmmaking perspective. Um, you can find out when the inciting incident happens, when the midpoint happens, the climax, uh, where their act one, act two, act three is. Um, if you have trouble with uh, the three-act structure in a film, I did make a video called The Outline. Again, I will have the link up here and I will leave a link in the description. If an idea pops into your head like a scene location or a line of dialogue or a specific character or just something, you should always write it down. What I do personally is I just take out my phone and I open up the notes app. And I just write down whatever that line of dialogue was, whatever the scene location I had in mind was, what uh, a specific situation that a character falls in, just something that'll add to my story. Something that I also did to help me write my second draft was I created a mood board. A mood board is basically a compilation of pictures and movie stills that match the style and tone of the film that you're trying to go for. Um, it's a great way to show a visual representation of what exactly you want your film to look like. They're usually presented in a collage type form. You can do this by gathering all of those pictures and movie stills that you have and putting them in like a PowerPoint slide. You can put them in a Word document. But something that I've used is I've used an app called Evernote. Now, Evernote is actually a free app. There is a paid version which gives you more storage space and more notebooks to add in more stories. But with the free version, um, it should just be enough. So here's an example right here of a mood board that I did because um, my feature film involves a lot of drama and isolation of one character. And then there's a lot of black and white photography from films back from like the 1920s to the 90s um there are some oranges and blues 
right here some from film some from tv shows um there are some other like very desaturated colors again from films here like selma or mother um edward scissorhands suburbicon um little fires everywhere willy wonka just a whole bunch of films that have matched the tone that i was trying to go for again that's something that you can do in evernote you can also add in notes just how you would in the notes app you can create checklists it's a more professional way of writing notes other than just using your notes app but if you don't want to use evernote then using the notes app is fine if you're more comfortable with using a different method then use that instead i'm not here to force you into doing what you don't want to do so yeah so yeah those are the ideas on how you can start getting your second draft done of your feature film and or short film and also in the other idea video again physical activity meditation listening to music creating playlists again that stuff is also really important when coming up with ideas in general so you know i would recommend those as well so yeah that's it for this video it was pretty short but um you know uh yeah oh and a quick update if you haven't seen my introduction video i'll put a link up here and a link in the description as well but basically in that video i talked about how i was also going to be looking over my past short films i would be breaking down each of the scenes and talking about the making of and how that particular short film impacted my life um that's actually something that i'm going to be starting next week so these past five videos that you've seen uh were part of the ramirez filmmaking series i've created a playlist on my youtube channel so you can check those out as well they're in chronological order but yeah starting next week i'm going to be releasing one of the first dramatic short films that i did it was back in march of 2015 called choices it's you know it's it's an okay short film but it again it's really the story behind it that i think really impacted me just the whole making of so next week i will be releasing that short film and the week after that i will be doing a making of video and then the week after that i will be doing a scene breakdown analysis of that particular short film so that's something i wanted to say but again i hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and uh yeah